I just got got on a thing. Uh, you know, I've done a little acting in my past. That's uh, right. Done a few movie shorts. Both of you have. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was in negotiation with a director I've worked with before. Actually, writer in this case. I used to work with us. I guess I shouldn't even give his name. You know who I'm talking about. He done it, did some Walking Dead. Oh, yeah episodes yes he called me last week and said we're shooting and we have a part that i think you'd be perfect for and i said oh, okay. okay makes you feel good doesn't it yeah kind it was nice you up. it was nice yeah he said it's the part of a comedy club owner oafish <laughs> fish <laughs> now if if i may just jump in i don't want to interrupt the flow of your story but mm-hmm. i think if you were to ask the average person mm-hmm in and out of show business, mm-hmm. describe a comedy club owner in one word. You will hear the word sleazy. <laughs> sleazy. sleazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, within the first two and a half sentences, he, seconds. He, he said, uh, "He said, I think you're perfect for this role. Comedy club owner. Sleazy. sleazy. Sloppy. <laughs> Oafish. Probably a predator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, most of them, especially in the old days, were predators. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, I did some stand up comedy. Big has. And you let me tell like, you, yep. I have met some wonderful comedy uh, club yes, owners. Yes. But I have met some downright, you know, uh, we didn't make as much at the door as we thought we would. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't. Uh, can't pay you. Yeah. You know, I won a competition one time and uh, it was supposed to be cash and prizes. Mm-hmm. And uh, they came over to me and they said, look, we got buy one get one coupons at the local pizza place that's it that's all you got that's all i got it was supposed to be a thousand dollars in cash and you're prizes. supposed to win a thousand dollars and you got a buy one get one coupon <laughs> at, at a pizza, pizza place what? that i think they own too was it, it wasn't yeah. the pizza place that you currently worked for no, at the time no my god this was a local establishment and my uh, god yeah you, you didn't get free pizza was buy no, one get, get one. one yeah <laughs> and uh the old excuse i used to hear the most was look man we'd we didn't have as many through the door as we thought we would. <laughs> oh, they say yeah. that too. Yeah, I know. I told you I'd pay you five hundred, but I best I can give you is two fifty. Right. I can hear Chris Kelly doing that line. That's what the piece yeah. said. Look, he said, we didn't have anybody come through the door. <laughs> and you know the funny thing is, you're like the place was packed, and they're like, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you know, we had to discount some tickets. Tickets. Uh, There's oh, I mean, it just always was. What do they call paper the room? They yeah. say because they, mm-hmm. they give away free tickets to put yeah. people in the house. And like I drinks. said, I've met some wonderful ones, but you would not play a wonderful one. He said, "You're perfect for this role." <laughs> he said, "You know, we got a slovenly, mm-hmm. uh, sleazy comedy club owner. We need you to introduce the comedians and okay. do a couple of scenes." Yeah. And I said. And also, sometimes you run the ones that want to be on stage themselves. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So, right, right. Can't right. say right. get I could, get hooked on the spotlight. I should, I should write this. I should be writing this role for you because okay. I can tell Maybe. you all the. Well. And that's the one thing you'd be great for that role too. You know what? Uh, I had an opener, but I'm gonna do it myself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be. Yeah. I tell you what, I'm gonna do. Let, let me get up there and do five myself. Yes. to Warm up the crowd, and yes. you're like, oh god, this is. Because he's they never, the owner. Yeah, he's they the never owner. warmed anything up. They just did terrible, and then you took a cold stage. We have comedians come through here sometimes. Used to a lot. They would come in. And one guy was a club owner who lived up in the Midwest, and he would come in every so often. And you could just tell, man, he was beaten down. He was trying to the keep The job that, beat him down. Yeah. Beat him. He was a nice guy. He was a nice guy, and he was trying to keep that comedy club afloat as well as be on the road himself. And it's a tough yeah. Oh, yeah. Racket, man. I mean, you see the great comedians. You see Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld, and the, they make it, you know, and you think, wow, that's great. But the, the work they have to put in to get there. Oh, yeah. And those that don't make it, just like us in the acting business. Mm-hmm. How many roles have I done? You know, how much negotiation? Well, let's see. There's mustachioed sheriff. <laughs> there's racist announcer, which is... a. To be fair, a typo That's on right. your IMDb. Yeah. <laughs> if you go to my IMDb, you're going to see I played a racist announcer seven Which years Which is not ago. the role. Not the no. role. It was race announcer Chris <laughs> Kelly. That was the role that I... Shifting Gears is the name of the film. That's the one where we had a big watch party and my dear friend Dave Aiken walked out of the theater... Yeah. Five minutes before I came on the screen. <laughs> He's like, I can't. I'm done. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but my yeah. scene's coming up. <laughs> I know. I've done my part. You, I what? walked the red carpet. I'm, what do you want? I'm in the last 15 minutes of the movie. <laughs> I'm going to go. doesn't matter. <laughs> 
I'm going to be on screen here. And he's, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. He leaves and missed my, that was my breakthrough role. That's when I played racist announcer. Mm-hmm. Who's not really a racist. Not announcer. really. Yeah. This writer called me and said, we're shooting all next week and we'd like you to play the comedy club owner and introducer. And I said, oh, this, is this is a great opportunity. This is, this is great. This is great. He says, we're going to shoot one day next week. And it could be an all-day shoot. Can you leave the radio show an hour early? And I said, I might be able to make it happen. For this kind of thing, I might be able to make it happen. He said, okay, I'm going to send you the script. We're going to get started. I don't know what day next week it's going to be. All this goes on. So I'm th- I turn to my wife and I say, another big break. Okay, I've mm-hmm. made it, I've made mm-hmm. it again. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he called me yesterday and he said, Got some news on the picture. I said, what is our reach? Are we, is the shoot delayed? Because we're now getting into the week here. I hadn't heard anything. Mm-hmm. He said, well, the director wanted to go with somebody else for the role. <laughs> Ooh. Gut bunch. <laughs> A different direction. <laughs> different direction for the role. And I said, what? And he said, yeah, we had our eye on this other guy who wasn't available. And now he's become available. So I'm given the duty to tell you that we're going a different direction with the role. And that hurt, you know, I have to say. Because I, mm. I was in my yeah, I'm mind, sure it stung a little bit. I was yeah. preparing yeah, you know, yeah. to do it. And I was thinking about how I could tell y'all I might have to leave an hour early. This I figured y'all would be pretty upset. <sighs> Broken up. Well, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> how dare they not cast you in this role? But then, but then the, 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 the coup de grace, he says in the last, at, at the end of it, and I think he knows... And you'll understand when he, when I tell you what he said. He said, uh, you didn't hear it from me, but I think some nepotism could be involved here. And I don't know what nepotism <laughs> means. <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's uh, one of those words. That's the word. I don't know nepotism, narcissism, or necrophilia. I don't know. I, I, all three of them, I think, are bad. Okay? I'm mm-hmm. not sure. To, do, to varying degrees. To varying degrees. And <laughs> yeah, they went with a necrophilia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I could do that. (laughs) I could play that for the role. I could play that. (laughs) Yeah, apparently there's some necrophilia involved, so they went with him. What? Uh, I know, I know, and I don't know. Yeah, this guy's a raging narcissist. (laughs) I can do that. I can do that. I I feel I can play these. He said, "You didn't hear from me, but there may be some nepotism involved." And I was like, "Oh well." But I don't know. I don't know what that is. And he goes, next time. Plus, you may be too tall. Yeah. I'm wearing lifts. <laughs> I can be I can shorter. Be shorter. I, can be shorter. I can play shorter. I can. I can do all. <laughs> it didn't work out. That's Hollywood for you. Well, yeah. That's Hollywood mm. right there in a nutshell, isn't it? It's negotiation. It's give and take. Yeah. You try. Negotiation. I had said to him, I already settled on a salary. I said to him, um, let's negotiate salary. He said, the role pays nothing. You will get car uh services from uh, what are they craft, craft services, craft services. services. Yes. and i said i'm in okay that's mm-hmm. i negotiate okay that's mm-hmm. what i do that's how I, biggie just said to us after, he was in the middle of high level negotiations middle, mm-hmm. biggie told me a month ago might be moving out of my apartment uh rent is increasing he's got a downtown he's got this bachelor pad downtown you wouldn't believe swing in just a man. Oh, yeah. I mean, just as as cool as it's you in the middle be. of it all. It is right there next in the heart of it all. You're right because I might have to move out of downtown. They're going up on the rent, and I said, mm, "That's too bad." You know, I don't I don't want to move. He likes the place, but you know, in, things are skyrocketing. Prices everywhere. are skyrocketing yeah. everywhere. So came in today, and Biggie said, after much back and forth. And a lot of negotiation. It looks like I'm going to be able to stay downtown and stay where I am at least another year, and then we'll revisit. Okay, good news. That's good news to me because you're only a minute from the radio station. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and moving is a hassle. Everybody of knows course. that. So I said, so uh, did they come down much off that rent? Biggie said, not a dime. <laughs> I said, so the back and forth and negotiation, really the negotiation was... <laughs> I wouldn't call it a give and take. Yeah, really. I can't pay that much of anything. You have to. All right, I will. (laughs) Here's the new rent. Okay. I will pay it. (laughs) Swallow it and pay it. Yeah. But the the man hear it from me, but there's nepotism involved. (laughs) I hear a necrophiliac moving in. (laughs) What? Yeah, I think you two are really hit it off. What? (laughs) 